Okay, so this is actually the official for part one of this uh, whole, I guess, process. I just did a super brief intro uh, with a similar title, which is the case swap DIY. And um, you guys probably have seen it. If not, you know, there's just a, like a minute video of me just washing it and saying just a couple things about this setup. But this is uh, what we are doing here. <clears throat> So the reason why I'm doing this project is because there are very, very few videos uh, with details, like step-by-steps of putting a K-series motor inside of either an EG or an EK chassis or any Honda chassis, you know. And um, I decided to go ahead and do one myself for the benefits of both my end and knowledge and experience and those who are also trying to do this as well uh, so here it is this is a motor this is a K24A2 which is a type S motor okay let me just find the, the stamp real quick here. hold on one second you might not be able to see it so clearly nah you can't really see it but it's there. I'll probably show you in later videos. It's a K24A2. Uh, just upgraded valve springs and retainers uh, for better airflow in the head. Um, this is a Type S 6B transmission, but this is a non-LSD. That's a code right there. You can look it up. Uh, after I'm done with all this, I will be selling the vehicle. It will be going into an EK, a 1998 Honda Civic EK Coupe, which is, um, which I'm picking up pretty soon. I already have purchased it. I just waiting for the title and all. But uh, here we go. I'm doing just a basic install, mounting this inside of EK chassis, uh, where it will just run. But I'm not, you know, producing any more power out of it or anything like that. I'm just strictly doing this for educational purposes. Um, so what you will need, and that's why I'm going to show you guys <clears throat> all the parts involving a basic install. If you just want a daily driver with a K-Series in it, this is it. So you will need your motor and transmission. All right, I have the, I have the engine harness off of it right now. I was just cleaning up the motor. Uh, but you will need the, the engine harness, which I have. Also, you need a fuel system upgrade. Now, you can do this using the stock OEM fuel um, and then, you know, uh, using the original fuel system on the car, but I went ahead and just bought this K-Tune center-fed fuel system. It comes with a fuel rail, and I'm going to show you what else it comes with. K-Tune. It also comes with, this is a fuel pressure, I'm sorry, this, this, this is just the gauge. So you can see the amount of fuel pressure comes with all the hoses and at this I think it's a dash six A and fuel fittings on all ends. So you can just adapt this. This is a fuel pressure regulator. Um, so this is everything. It comes with everything needed for um, for you to uh, update the, the fuel system. Comes with the, the fuel filter, all the fittings and clamps, and it even gives you this nice little wrench so that you don't mess up the paint because they're all nice uh paint fittings and everything matching all together so you don't want to scratch it up so they give you this little wrench to tighten up everything so that's the fuel system so you definitely will need a fuel system to adapt your motor to and um this right here is center fed so you can, yeah, it comes with the with the nipple right there and and then it goes on the inside of this so fuel comes in here and fills this up all the way so it's 50 50 instead of just coming in one end and coming out the other but it gives you all the fittings so you can close these off right there all right and then also what you will need is um there's different ways you can do it but i just went ahead and got a k-tuned EP3 pulley kit. This is K tuned. And I got this belt to go with it. It came with the kit. It 
see the part number there. It's also key tuned. And then, you know, that eliminates power steering and AC. So it's strictly just the crank, the water pump, just the tensioner and the alternator. All right. So that's that. And then I, this also has 650 injectors. I got that with the motor. Also, and then after cleaning up, the intake itself is the RBC intake. And um, this also have a car sense adapter because you also need a cable throughout the body. All right, so it's an RBC, which is a pretty good intake. They have different ones, RBB, I believe it is. And I forget what the other one, PRB maybe? I might be mistaken, but this is the RBC in, in, uh, OEM intake, which is which is great for, uh, for breathing. And then this also comes, um, there's a water outlet right here as well. So in this right here was a thermal valve, which, you know, originally it's inside of the TSX or even the RSX. They have a, a little hose with coolant running out. So I'm just gonna block this off. I'm just gonna get like a fitting or something from like a hardware store just to block this off. Um, I see it on k28.org, one guy selling like a delete kit, which is basically just a, a plug. So I can just pick one up at, the, at Home Depot or something like that. I'm just gonna block that off. Also, um, in regards to that, I'll come back to this later, but they K-tuned or other aftermarket sell uh, a plug here where you can put your, your your temperature sensor on here. I believe that's what it is, and I'll get I'll get I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, so you know your water housing this is what the radiator hose runs to. Um, heater hoses, of course. I mean that goes to the car. So now. That's as far as what I have on the motor prep prep side. I will show you what else you need. Um, show you the fuel system. You will need, of course, mounts. So streetrays.com is where I got. I found these innovative mounts, pretty good price. I, if you guys see pictures, you know what the mounts look like. Just to put it inside of the EK chassis. This is EKK1 mount. We got a good price on them. Uh, I don't know what's, what is this? Delivered from Street Rays. And they're innovative mounts. And then that's to mount them inside of the chassis, so you will need the mounts. And then I also bought a a just a um steel braided clutch line. Alright, because you're gonna have to adapt your your clutch master cylinder to your transmission and this is the right length and it comes with nice fittings and everything so you need mounts a clutch line also the for your cooling system I got I bought this uh, K tuned radiator uh, kit so it comes with an aluminum radiator it comes with the upper and the lower uh, radiator hoses, these are silicone, so these are nice, nice little touch, and a slim fan. And also, it comes with uh, clamps and um, a mounting kit, so you can just mount this up because you will have to change it from the passenger side over to your driver's side to mount the radiator since this motor is facing the opposite way than, uh, from a B series. So, this kit comes with everything so you can mount the radiator and hose, upper and lower radiator hoses and slim fan. All right. Also in regards to the cooling system, I picked this up, which is, don't pay no mind to the wiring or the hoses, but um, aftermarket support, they sell different, you know, different brands. But this here is an adapter for both your temperature, or I'm sorry, the fan switch and the temperature sensor right your fan switch for the radiator and the temperature sensor now these this will 